Jeff, good to see you as always. Thanks so much for, for, for joining us. I mean, is it the fears over the Omicron uh, variant that, that's pulling oil back? Because we'd already started pulling back from those sort of $84, $85 highs anyway over the prior couple of weeks. Well, there's, there's definitely, um, you know, a fundamental impact, primarily the jet fuel demand, um, given the fact that what you're seeing here is countries, you know, locking down their borders. And so the international jet travel is likely to, to wane a bit, but it's, it's relatively small. Obviously, nothing like the, the decline in prices. Um, and I think really at the core um, of what's going on in terms of the prices is the fact that you have a negative gamma effect going on. The whole curve is shifting down. And by the way, the shape of the curve has remained in backwardation, which is a very bullish sign. I like to say that time spreads don't lie. If this curve shape is still downward sloping, or backwardation, as we like to call in commodities, it's telling you that it's still very a bullish term structure. Now, that what's driving it is the whole back end of the curve is being shifted down because there's not much liquidity. And as you go through the strikes where all the put producer puts are, you get increased selling by the dealers. They have to get shorter and shorter and shorter. But it works both directions. Once it goes all the way down, it can pop right back up again. So, yes, there's a negative effect here due to lost jet fuel demand, but nothing like what the prices are trying to price in. And just one last, the bottom line here is, you know, the longer term or medium term story hasn't changed. We're still very bullish um, in terms of thinking about, um, you know, this impact of demand from, you know, the new variant. Um, that's very short lived. This market is facing supply problems that are being exacerbated by the lower prices. That's persistent. That's not changing. And if anything, it reinforces the bullish story three, six months down the road. Uh, and so are you banging the table to tell your clients to, to get long exposure to oil? And, and what's the best way for them to do that? Um, it, you know, go out onto the forward curve, take advantage of that backwardation, and then you can roll up. I'm not going to say that this, that this bow of selling is over with. Because you go through the big round numbers, we're coming up to 65 on Brent. They're at 65, 70, 75, 80, and you go through there. It's five five dollar clips. Um, you know, once you feel comfortable, this thing is you know finished going through these different strikes. Um, then you can have the potential for the upside. But I think you look at futures. Um, you know, in terms of thinking about you know the upside here, it's going to be in oil, not the equities. Obviously, the equities have not um, you know, underperformed anything like what the oil market has which means you're likely to get more upside here. But I'm not going to say it's just going to zing back up to 85 real quickly. Um, people are taking year-end risk down, which means, you know, a lot of people won't go back into this market until after the new year.